Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in today. As you see from the title of today's video, I have a haul, and I actually have already decided that I'm going to split this up because I bought some stuff from Sephora, I bought some stuff from Ulta, that's what you're gonna see today, but then I also shopped a lot of the individual brand sites if they had better deals, or if there was stuff that I wanted to check out. So I'm gonna put that in a separate video because otherwise this would just be too long and very overwhelming for me. So I have two boxes. This is my Sephora box. I'm not show y'all my address. <laughs> and then this is my Ulta box. I told you guys I prefer to shop at Ulta because I feel like they have better deals, they have more sales, and their reward system is better, so that's why I got more stuff from them. Before we get into the video, let's get the business part out of the way. Why don't you guys go ahead and join the family? If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications so that you know every time I upload. My name's Barbara and I upload hauls, tutorials, reviews, with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna love the channel. I'm not gonna keep you any longer. Let's get into what I ordered from Ulta and Sephora during their Black Friday holiday sales. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Sephora box first. I really just didn't see a lot on Sephora's website that I wanted this year, and I felt like it was the same thing with the VIB sale. I didn't get a lot of stuff then either, so I don't know. I really just feel like I've been liking what Ulta has to offer better. There was one kit. I told you guys I was gonna get another Grande Lash. Well, I wasn't gonna get a set. I was just gonna get the Lash Serum, but Sephora and Ulta both had a set. The set at Ulta, I believe was a little more expensive. It didn't have this brow serum. They had a lash conditioner and the lash serum and I didn't want the conditioner. This one actually has the Grande Lash Serum in full size. Then it also has the brow enhancing serum, which I wanted to try because my tails need some help. And then they also have a travel size of the lash serum, which I do have one in my travel bag, so now I have a backup. This was $68 and I did get it on sale. I believe I used $10 off or something like that, so I didn't pay full price for it, but I knew I was gonna get one of these from somewhere, so that was first on my list. The next thing I picked up is this Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. This is currently on sale on the Sephora site. This is what the box looks like. Cute little box. And honestly, I picked it up because it was on sale. And it, so I got like a sale on the sale. Um, I picked up the shade Reverent RG75. They didn't have many shades. And then this one was the closest match to my shade. And it actually looks like it is gonna be a good match. It does come with a pump. This is the bottle. The top is gold as well. Super cute. And then, oh, it's very liquidy. I did not shake it, so that doesn't help. But this is what the shade looks like. It is runny. But I just wanted to give it a try because I think Jamie Page talked about it and said that it was really good for dry skin. And so since it was on sale and they had my shade, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. The next thing I picked up was also an item that was on sale and I've used this before and honestly, I don't know that I remember like it made this big, huge, drastic difference that I was like, I can't wait to buy that again. But again, if it's on sale and I get an additional sale and I have used it, like I used the whole thing, so it must not have been bad. Um, then I was like, let's go ahead and try it again. This is the It Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. It says it smooths, brightens, and deep puffs. This is what the box looks like. And this is the packaging. I went through an entire container of this before. So, I don't know about 
depuffing and all that stuff. I just remember my eyes, my under eyes felt really hydrated using it and it says use it morning and night. I'm not like this is to die for, but I enjoyed it. The next thing I picked up was this Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. And I actually, I think initially bought 365, 3.65, and it was way too light. So I brought it back and I went in store and got help with the shades. And I ended up picking 4.05W, which is Tan Pecan. I wouldn't have picked it, honestly, because it says that it's warm. But this is what the shade looks like. And this does not look that warm to me. Warm normally means to me like it's going to be a bit yellow, like golden. And I didn't want that. But I think that this is a very good shade that's not... It's still bright. Y'all know how I like my under eyes. But this is what it looks like. It's not too bright. I'm sure I've shown y'all <laughs> ones that are way brighter than this. But it's also not too yellow. So even if it is, I always or I tend to use a translucent powder. So if it is yellow, it kind of helps cool it off a little bit and make it more neutral. So I'm excited to try this one. I saw good reviews on it. It says get full coverage in one swipe, conceal and brighten with this weightless formula that blends to an airbrushed finish. So we'll see. I've been liking to try out concealers lately, and I think because this one says whipped, it may not be too thick of a texture. The next thing I picked up was this Super Goop Glow Screen. It is their sunscreen in SPF 40. This is what the box looks like. And the sunscreen that I use right now is the, I want to say it's the CeraVe, CeraVe, however you pronounce it. But I'm running low on that and I wanted to try this one because it is illuminating. It says it is a lightweight pearlescent formula that hydrates the skin while acting as a luminous makeup gripping primer. So this one is a primer and a sunscreen, which I thought was kind of cool. And y'all know I love hydrating and gripping. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand and then... When I blend it out, you can see that definitely has a glow. My only concern with this, because when you're using sunscreen, you're supposed to put a lot to actually make it be effective. I wonder how this is going to look under foundation if I use a lot of it. Like, is it going to be too glowy? The next thing I picked up, I'm actually really excited about this because I was mad that I missed it during the VIB sale. And then this sale came and so I was like, see, somebody's looking out for me and wanted me to have this. This is the Patrick Star One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. So this is his under eye setting powder. He does, I got the translucent. He does have a darker one, but I knew that I was going to use this for setting my under eye. I am a little worried. It says it's super fine, 14 hour long wear blurring setting powder made for light bake to a heavy cake. I'm just praying that it is not too mattifying because I don't need that under my eyes. But I I never got the Patrick Star powder that he made with MAC. And everybody's been talking about this. So I felt like this was my chance to kind of jump on the bandwagon and see what all the hype is about. I'm not going to open it all the way, but just so you guys can see there, it is definitely translucent it is not yellow so. the next thing i picked up i talked to you guys about lip balms and my favorite lip products in my last favorites video this laneige glowy lip balm set was on sale and then i got the discount so this is in berry which is their normal like their main shade that they have or flavor and then they also have the gummy bear one in here which i have not tried I've heard a lot about it. I don't really care so much about the flavors or the scents, but it's nice to try something new. As long as the formula is the same, I'm not going to complain about it. So I picked up these two. That is it. I did not do a lot of damage at Sephora, but I cannot wait to show you guys what I got from Ulta. All right, so I'm just going to start at the top of the box and work my way down. First thing on top is this Tory Burch Nuit Azure. Perfume. This is an eau de parfum 
and this is 1.7 fluid ounces. I had no idea what it smelled like, but I read the notes on it and I was just like, this sounds like something I should like, so we're just gonna go with it. I was just trying to look on Ulta's website to see if I could find how they describe it and it already says that it's not available anymore. It was $100 and it was on sale for $70 and then I got the 20% off. But looking at their website, this is what the bottle looks like. This is so pretty. Like this is one of the ones that are go that's gonna go up on my shelf in my beauty room for decor. But the crazy thing, this reminds me so much of Dolce & Gabbana light blue for women. Like absolutely, it's maybe a little more citrusy and it also is a little more woody versus Dolce & Gabbana is a fresh citrus. This one is more like a woody citrus, if that makes sense. It has an underlying kind of, let me tell you, it's cedar wood, which is why it has the woody scent. So it says it's a fresh woody floral and it has violet leaf and salty fig with freesia, patchouli, vetiver, and wrapped in the warmth of cedar and musk. The more that, now that it's sitting on me, the more I smell it, I don't smell as much of the Dolce & Gabbana, but it is very, very similar. So if you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but you're looking for something a little warmer and a little more woodsy, then you might wanna give this one a try. All right, the next thing that I picked up is this Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara. This was on sale, one of their sale days. It was $10. I'm mad because they had a kit with this and the liner for $16 and I missed that. Kinda sucks, but I don't think I've tried this mascara before. And since my lashes have been growing so much and I still have trouble putting on falsies, I've been looking at trying different mascaras now, so 10 bucks for a high-end mascara. I decided to give this one a try. I picked up a bunch of lashes, <laughs> which is funny because I just said how much I've been struggling with lashes. But we all know lashes, even though they say they're reusable, sometimes if you put mascara and stuff on them, it's too hard to clean them off. And when lashes, especially multi-packs, go on sale for like $5, $8, you have to take advantage of that because we use them too much. And I want to get better, so I have to practice. I picked up pretty much my favorites and some styles that look like my favorites. Told you guys about the Kiss Number 11s. I picked up another multi-pack of those. And then if you look at these, these are the Kiss Number 1s. So these are a little shorter. Try to get this glare out so you can see. The number ones are actually longer. Number one, number 11. They're longer, but they're not as thick, I don't think. Like they're a lot more wispy, but they're just longer. So every single pair of lashes I try to buy have the clear band on them because I feel like that's easier for me to apply. So. Number 11s are my favorites, not too long, give some volume. Number ones, a little more length, not as much volume. And then I picked up the number nines, which look really similar to the number ones. So this is the 11s, this is the nines. So again, you see a little longer. Honestly, if you look at the nines and the ones, clearly I have a preference. I have a style that I like. So these all look very similar at the end of the day. And I just decided to stock on, up on them because they were on sale. I did pick up a set of the Couture Faux Mink Collection also from Kiss. And this is in the style Jubilee. I think I bought a pair of these or maybe a double pack before and I wore them once, but now that I have 
been looking at other videos on how to apply them. I want to try these again because they do have more volume than the number 11s. So I want to try to see if I'll be able to get these on and use them for more dramatic looks. I also picked up these Ardell Mega Volume. They are number 259. This is what these look like. Again, they look very similar to the other ones. They're just more wispy and they look like they're layered. Like the way it's curled, it's not just one curl. It's like that, if that makes any sense. So yeah, it's called the Never Flat Multi-Layered Curl Technology. I picked up another mascara. Now, I'm laughing at myself because I'm pretty sure I have this mascara. I do. I have a backup of this mascara that I've never opened and then I bought another one that I, I have no idea. But I do have a small one in my purse and I know I like it and that's why I, I grabbed it, I guess. Whatever excuse we use, right? So this is the It Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I love how small the wand is on this one. It kind of reminds me of the Thrive Cosmetics liner that I love. This one, the wand is not very big at all and it's pointed so you can use it on your bottom lash line as well as the top. I don't like having to use different mascaras so I need to actually use this one to make sure that I like it. I've used the small one but I've also heard people say sometimes that the travel size or the sample sizes the formula is a little different than in the full size. Let me know if you guys have heard that before. I picked up two packs of press-on nails. These, it's funny because I love the style of these. These are both by Dashing Diva. It's the Magic Press. Unfortunately, these are the long ones. This is in Vamp, Vixen, and Full Spectrum. This is what the nails look like. I love the accent nails in both of these and I love the designs. These are the long length. I don't wear long nails. I can't wear them working out. I don't see how people do it. So once I get them on and I let them sit and I make sure that they're stuck, I cut them. But love these. And I get about a week's use out of those nails, even with working out. So I think that's pretty good. It's like I got them, they were on sale for $5. Anytime I can get nails on sale, I get them because I have to do them every week and I would rather spend $5 than $10. Back on lashes. Y'all, I was going to post this so long ago, but I had to keep waiting for stuff to come in. I would get a, no a notification saying it's about to be delivered and then it wouldn't come in. So I kept having to push this back and I'm actually still waiting on one item. But I got tired of waiting to do the video. I bought the Kiss Lash Glue and Eyeliner in one. I bought this one in black and then I also bought the clear but the clear has not come in yet. I am hoping that this helps with my lash application and I think it would be kind of cool to use this on days especially the clear one when I don't want to do eyeshadow and I don't want to do liner and I just want to have longer lashes. I've never done that before because I struggle with lashes, but I think this is going to help make it a little easier. So I'll definitely keep you posted on that. The next thing I picked up, I talked about how easy it is to go through lashes real quick. This is the Ardell Professional False Eyelash Cleaning Kit. So this is a kit that actually has a cleaning solution and then a cleaning tool to clean your false lashes to be able to reuse them. I have no idea if this works, but it was on sale. And so I was kind of hoping for my other lashes that I've gotten that are a little more expensive, like my Nakia Joy Cosmetics ones, that I would be able to clean them off and that would make it easier to apply them as opposed to trying to apply them with glue already on it. So we'll see if this works. I'll keep you posted. I bought an eyebrow product. This is the Maybelline Deep Brown Total Temptation Brow Definer. I'm pretty sure I've used this before. I know it was on sale. This has the thicker, does it? Yeah, this has the thicker pencil on it than like the Anastasia, you know, skinny brow or the Benefit Precisely My Brow or the NYX Precision, whatever. All the little bitty ones. I don't really care for those too much. I like the ones like this. So 
I know I've used this before, but I wanted to use it again to see if it would be something good to suggest to y'all because I always use my Anastasia brow definer. So I just wanted to see if this would be a good option to recommend, but I had to try it again. So I will let you know. I mentioned a concealer earlier. I also picked up the Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer. I might have one Kylie lipstick, one Kylie pencil. I had, I need to check my eyeshadows because I did have a couple eyeshadow palettes, the burgundy and the bronze, I think. I just haven't been that like amped up to really try any more of her products. So a lot of her stuff was on sale and I was like, well, this is a good time to try. This concealer is in the shade Granola and I did have to go into the store to see which one I wanted because I would have ended up picking one way lighter. So I'm glad that I did. I think this one is, mm -hmm. now I said I went in the store and I looked at this. This looks a little yellow. I don't know how, I feel like that does not look like the same thing. That's just me, but I feel like I've been tricked. So I'm probably gonna bring this back and get a different shade because I do not want a yellow concealer like that. All right, trying to go through these fast. I picked up the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin Blurring Serum. Honestly, I just picked this up because it said blurring. <laughs> it was on sale and it said soft focus effect and it says wear under makeup as the perfect base or wear alone for a complexion that looks perfect so this is kind of like a primer but it's more of a serum and I think it's supposed to be pore filling it comes out white mm, kind of has a smell it dries down. There's no sheen or anything like that. Oh, well, I see a slight little glow. Huh. So that might help with just looking more hydrated and... Hmm. Okay. The next thing that I bought, I ended up using my points to get some of these items too. I was going to get the Nabla highlighters because they were on sale. The highlighters, the bronzers, and the blushes were on sale. And then I was like, Barbara, you are not buying another highlighter. You're not. Like, you don't need it. So, no. But I did buy the bronzer. Now, the website did not do these colors justice because I'm trying to remember which one is which. One is in the shade Soft Revenge. One is in the shade Profile. Look at how dark these, is. these are. These is. <laughs> these are. Y'all. And the thing is, I use my points, so if I bring them back, I don't get my points back, and I don't get my money back. So I'm going to have to keep them. But this is dark. And I always talk about how I can never find a bronzer dark enough. Yeah, that's not a problem we're going to have with this. So this is Profile. Profile is a little warmer. It does have a slight sheen to it. And then on my hand... This is what the shade looks like. So that is going to be a really pretty bronzer color. And then Soft Revenge is a little cooler. I can't tell, like to say, I guess it looks a little, light. yeah, that looks lighter, but it's cool. So these are so soft. That's what that looks like. So you can see a clear difference on those. Yeah, see that one doesn't show up as much, but you can still see that's Soft Revenge, and then that one is Profile. I can't wait to try. That looks like it would be a really, really good contour without looking too crazy. Last thing makeup related, I picked up this Milani Cream to Powder Foundation, and I picked up the shade 275 Amber. Y'all gonna laugh, but I picked this up to use for my wigs. I did not pick this up for my face. I probably could wear it for my face, but I've been watching a lot of wig application videos and they talk about using makeup to help if you're doing the bald cap method or to put on your lace to help it blend in with your skin better. So I don't have any cream to powder foundations and I didn't want to use liquid. 
I didn't have any cream foundations and I sure wasn't going to try to pile up a bunch of powder on it. So instead of getting the Ruby Kisses, I'm going to try this and see how it works. But I also bought Lace Tint. So your girl's about to try to step up her wig game. I'm excited to see how this helps make my blending with my hairline a little better. All right, we're getting down to the wire. The rest of the stuff that I picked up was skincare and I think a couple hair products. Guys, can you believe I did not buy an eyeshadow palette? Who am I? I don't even know. Like part of me is like, I feel like I missed out, but Lord knows I have enough. So skincare, I picked up the Kapari Tropical Glow Cleanser. And this says cleanse and brighten with pineapple and papaya enzymes and coconut water. I picked this one up because I am out of my philosophy, philosophy purity three in one cleanser. And so I wanted something that was good to help with, you know, dissolving makeup and all that stuff because I use a cleansing balm first, then I use another cleanser like this. And then I use my Murad AHA BHA daily exfoliating cleanser as the final step. So this one I believe was like $30 and it was on sale for 15. I wanted to just try something different and the philosophy was not on sale. So we were not buying that. I am still fighting with dark spots, even though my acne is doing really well. So anything that says brightening, I've kind of been trending towards that more lately. You'll see a trend in this box. The next thing I picked up was the Derma Doctor Cockadoo C Brightening Daily Cleanser, Toner, and Makeup Remover. So again, same as the other one, I wanted it as a second step after my cleansing balm. This is a pretty big container. I believe this was 40 bucks. Of course it was on sale. I think I got it for um, half off. So it was either 40 or 30 bucks. I got it for half off. But this says that it is rejuvenating cleanser toner and makeup remover in one. I always use something else after this step, but if I'm not wearing makeup, sometimes I won't do the exfoliating and I'll just do one like this. So hydrating and brightening. The next thing I picked up, another cleanser. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. This says skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum anti-aging and this is developed with plastic surgeons i've heard a lot of good stuff about it cosmetics skincare i'd already showed you that i got the eye cream but i really just wanted to try this it says it's an ultra hydrating and skin transforming cleansing serum formulated for all skin types it helps to melt away dirt oil and even long wear makeup it says it has their age anti-aging armor rejuvenating concentrate which activates upon contact. I'm getting more into anti-aging stuff since you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about these forehead wrinkles. I do think things will kind of smooth out more once I'm off the Accutane, but because my skin is so dry, anything I can get to help with hydrating from the outside, inside, whatever I want it. Next, I picked up this Bliss Hydration Salvation Moisturizing Camellia Facial Oil. Y'all try so hard not to stutter and make sure I pronounce stuff right. This is by the brand Bliss. And this is a luxurious vegan facial oil blend supercharged with camellia oil. Oh, it says sunflower seed oil and jojoba seed oil. So it is an oil blend. I've been loving putting oils on before I do my makeup and then also before I go to bed. So... I now have a little collection of face oils, but I thought this was cute, cute little bottle, and it's a pretty good size. I have three more face products. This is the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foaming Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. It says this was created for sensitive skin and loved by all. It is a delicate cleanser. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I was just like, ooh, that looks nice and fancy and I want to try it. All this stuff was on sale at least for half off. So I'm kind of just stocking up on stuff because after this year is over, I am, as of right now, I'm setting myself for like a two month no buy. 
It'll give me time to use this stuff, make sure I like it. I have more than enough to make videos for you guys, but your girl's been kind of tripping, so it's time to slow it down. Next, I got the Bliss Explosion Super Rich Moisturizer for Dewy Radiant Skin. Like I said, hydrating, dewy, glowy, that's what I am looking for. It says this velvety iridescent cream with skin brighteners delivers mega radiance while an advanced form of African shea butter nourishes to combat dryness and flaking. This sounds like it's gonna be a hit. I wanna see if it has a glow to it since it's saying all that. This is what the container looks like. I just wanna see if it actually has like a glow like an illuminator or just a glow from like, hey, you're hydrated. Oh yeah, can y'all see that pink? Well, I don't see anything remaining pink, but I definitely look like my skin is hydrated. It feels soft, so I can't wait to use that on my face. And then lastly, I picked up another sunscreen. This is the Kylie Skin SPF 40 Face Sunscreen. I have been trying to get better about wearing sunscreen every day, even when I stay in the house and not just when I go outside. This one was on sale, I think for $10. So I just decided to pick it up to try it. All right, the last three products are all hair products and I'm pretty sure, I know I've used this one before. This is the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Hot Off The Press Thermal Protection Hairspray. I love using this for when I'm curling my hair, my natural hair or flat ironing it. I feel like it helps give it a little more shape and it definitely helps me hold my curl. It almost feels kind of like a wax but in a spray form, if that makes sense. So I have a ton of heat protectant products. I tend to curl my hair once, maybe twice a week, and I blow dry it every time I wash it. So I always try to make sure I use a heat protectant. The next thing I picked up is this Kenra Strengthening Treatment. This says Intense Anti-Breakage Deep Mask. I, even though my hair is probably the healthiest it's been in a long, long time, I always treat my hair like it's damaged. I relax it every uh, five to seven, five to eight weeks, something like that. So I always wanna make sure that I'm treating my hair as if it's fragile because relaxing it does break it down a little bit. So I always buy anti-breakage, intense moisture, reconstructor, like all of those healing products for my hair. So. I love this brand already and I have several other products by them. So I just wanted to try this one. And then the last thing I picked up is this Argan Oil of Morocco Multi Benefit Hairspray. This is more just like a finishing spray. I do feel like sometimes I'll curl my hair and then it'll just fall right away. But I never put any kind of spray afterwards and I don't like hairspray. Still help give me some hold without making it crunchy. I don't like that at all. I want my hair to be able to move around a little bit. I forgot something. This fell on the floor when I first started recording. This is another reason why I love shopping at Ulta. This little bag is cute, number one. Look how cute this little tassel is. But this was a gift with purchase. So if you spent $80, you got all this stuff in here and you got to pick from three different bags. That's another reason why I shop at Ulta. I know this video was long guys, but that is it for my Sephora and Ulta haul. As I said, I do have more stuff, but that'll be in a separate video because clearly this one is already long enough. If you guys are tired of shopping, feeling like you are overwhelmed with all the sales and all the products, or feeling like, hey, give me some more, I wanna stock up on stuff right now, Comment below and let me know how you're feeling. I'm kind of at my wits end with everything. I think I have enough stuff. I don't want to keep buying stuff and it just sits and goes bad. I've been cleaning out some of my skincare stuff and there's stuff I bought from sales that I haven't used and now it's expired. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for stuff that it does have a shelf life, even if you don't open it. So don't waste your money. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for staying with me till the end of it. If you're still here, comment below and let me know. Type the comments, glowy, 
and let me know that you are an OG that stayed with me to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I will have another video coming with the rest of the stuff that I hauled from the holiday sales. Thanks for staying with me to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.